hello everyone welcome to my video today in this video we are going to build this part we will go open a new part to start and then in front plane here we create a sketch after this operation i will place a rectangle on my screen and this rectangle will be 30 millimeter high and here is one millimeter and now I make everything construction geometry. This is a good start. First, I place here one arc. And while my control is pressed, I give a tangency relationship. And then the value here, 35. Later, I start from origin to this point, S spline. Now I can deal with play with the uh, control points. This spline will be here in 30 degree and with 20 tangency value. This also have same. And here I'm saying also a tangency from origin to this point should be 12 and a half. This is good. And Last operation, making a tangency to this uh, x-axis, we can say for that, like a 90 degree, if you place here a line and make a tangency relationship, you will have the same result. Everything is okay now, and then we can go to next step, which is a revolved surface. We make the revolved surface here and we have got a, a surface body as shown on the screen on top plane we create a sketch and we place there now a circle i didn't place it on the origin i think now in the origin and the diameter is 20. we close our sketch and we go curves helix and sprawl and here height and revolution height was 30 revolution will be one and then the starting angle you can say zero only determines from which uh, direction you will start not so much important after we have got this we create one more sketch on the top plane and now from origin to this point we create a line we can click point and a, a helix while control is pressed and then we can say pierce line will be connected on that point to our helix after this operation we are going to make a swap operation and we pick here our swap surface command uh, Profile already selected. This is the pad and I will save my problem without changing anything. I'm okay with this and at the end I will get a surface like that. If you hide this, you will see what we get here. Yes. Now we are going to extract a curve combining these two uh, surfaces. For that we go convert entities under intersection curve we will select to surface and click ok after that you will see that on the screen we have got a 3d curve this is combination of these two curve in fact this is good and uh, let's create one axis before under reference geometry and axis in the origin, the top plane, program going to create for me an axis here where I will use, which I will use for our circular pattern operation. This is also good. And then the next step, creating a reference geometry, which is a plane now. Here we pick a plane, click our curve and click on our point, And then we create a plane same operation will be for bottom plane 
here endpoint maybe we could use also one of the our uh, existing planes which is here uh, exist but uh, let's let's keep it like this on the plane one i'm going to create a sketch and there i will play a rectangle two line will be equal i pick two line while control is pressed and say equal and then i will give here a value of 0 0.5 now we are done with that we can hide this plane on the second plane i will go create a two millimeter uh, rectangle but now using this one because this is not an oriented one we can place in any direction we want and i made that point uh, that line vertical now and again here two line will be equal which we are trying to create a square two by two yes that's great after this operation we are going to use our loft which is loft boss base we have two profile profile one profile two and then we have a center line now program going to create for me as uh, they had to center line to center line the profile now we have an alignment problem you should find which is the right alignment according to the selected two edge then we will not have a twist we will leave twist here in, uh, to our own curve uh, make sure that you have nice two alignment according to the orientation of sketch and after that we have got a, a solid like this on the screen now we can select a circular pattern to pattern it which is uh, will be done which will be done with circular pattern this is our body and this is our axis eight instances will be copied and at the end we have got a nice model as you see on the screen we missed one thing we go back to uh, our loft operation and we will open here normal to profile and normal to profile after this operation we can just say and close and then we have this shape we can make a combine now select everything and add will be a combining them and after this point we will go create a on the right plane a sketch maybe we can use our old sketch it was on front plane if i'm remembering yes it was here and we create a sketch on front plane and we look there normal to by clicking our space uh, i'm now moving along my uh, center line i will create here something like this down and ending here like that we can still convert this construction geometry and now give here we added construction geometry a uh, dimension here will be one and a half here will be two now we have a little problem here and we should just create a correct relation we just select make horizontal only thing is missing now our diameter here and we will say to this one two let's try and see what we are having with that and later on we say revolve and program going to revolve for us it's not creating but we will manage it don't merge result we say okay 
the problem we are having right now we have a edge which is only in the zero distance touching to the face program not able to handle with that if we extend this one with a move face common for example with a dimension of let's say 0 0.5 it's even too big 0 0.2 and then later combine we will not get any problem we are this way we fixed our problem now and now i'm going to create here a fillet which will be one and a half millimeter I don't remember exactly the diameter of what, what, what was there. Yeah. And after this operation, we can look again normal to our plane and create here a connection point. On the front plane, we create a sketch and we place here two time a circle. Our width here, one outer is four is good and then we are going to create for an alignment here a construction geometry and then give here a value of maybe two yes two is looking fine and after this operation we go extrude post base mid plane one and merge result we can say and now we are going to create here our nice rounded part with selecting edges. We will add 0 0.5 fillet and now we have this nice connection and then later on we can select this edge again and creating here one more nice fillet. We are this way uh, we finalize our model you could add nice uh, for example fillets along these edges for example variable fillet in fact i i missed that uh, i was doing that also uh, but you could do that it is a nice example for combination with surfaces and uh, solid modeling i hope you are able to manage it if you are searching much more challenging videos if you didn't like this or find very easy you can have a look on my channel thanks for watching see you in another video